Hello viewers, this is your Michael for three views, three years, my 652 podcast, this is my 652 podcast, and, and like always, I'm going to day loudly, day clearly, and day slowly, in case you know I'm standing, also, I'm trying to do my best on the bridge along, during the podcast recording as well, not the full thing, I'll repeat that as well, and finally, and Finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change your adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change your adult language. If you're under 18. Now, if you're over 18, this is, I need to get to watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, with this and everything else out the way, oh my sweet Jesus, I just, I just finished watching season 2 of Velma, or uh, HBO, or uh, Max's Velma series. Oh, sweet Jesus. See, Jinkies, you only right. Oh, Jinkies. Oh, my God. Uh, words cannot describe this second season. Oh, God. Oh, God. After watching. Once again, this second season is is, is made up of ten episodes, just like in the, just like in the first season. I gotta say, once again, once again, the characters, I I like you know, it seems like the show has improved, but when it comes to Belma, the main character herself, she's still an asshole. So basically, like you know. Like yes, yeah, she is like you know. I will say, I will say that if they did try to get her some more character development, you know, make her a likable asshole. But she's still an asshole. So basically, once again, once again, the main uh, the all the other characters had better character development than Velma did in this second season, from from, from uh, including the main character Shaggy. <laughs> Well, wow, sorry, I'm a tongue cut. So basically, once again, once again, all the characters had better characters than Belma did in this second season. Shaggy, Shaggy, Daphne, and Fred had better character development in this second season than than, than Belma did. You know, even the even even just. Even the special guest characters and 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 supporting characters had had more character development in their second season than Velma did. Honestly, the secondary, uh, uh, you know, the main characters, the other main characters, the, the supporting characters and the special guest characters, you know, outshined Velma in the second season as well. But honestly, but a lot of people are pissed off at one thing because they brought one of the hex girls into season two. Basically Fawn, the girl, you know, if you don't know who the heck girls is, well, they've been a mainstay ever since that, ever since that Scooby-Doo movie came, you know, that gave you the heck girls into the Scooby-Doo franchise. So, basically, they got full, they got Fawn, the heck girl who plays the guitar, and bung, and bung, bung that character into this, into this, and, hmm, into this, into the second season of Belma, a lot of people are pissed off with this. Not uh, bad enough. <laughs> bad enough. They bung. Honestly, the Hex girls out of all the Scooby Doo characters, you know, the Hex girls are the most popular Scooby Doo characters of all time. Even though, you know, yes, they did show up and and, and you know, I, and did show up and you know. Throughout, uh, throughout the Scooby Doo franchise, you know, and 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 series and movies, uh, and series and movies, all out, but a lot of people. A lot of pissed off people were pissed off that this series actually brought, not only only brought the Hexker into the Belma into the Belma show, they also brought Scrappy. Scrappy do actually gets involved in this second season. Oh, straight crap! Scrappy, no, no, it's just a lot already. Honestly, honestly, I feel like you know, I know that Scrappy's not beloved. 
it's not a, the most loved character in the Scooby Doo franchise. It's just a shame they have to really do him dirty like that. Like, you know, in the set. Well, they didn't really did Scrappy dirty, but I would say Scrappy debut in the series. Honestly, honestly, he, honestly, he, honestly, he, Scrappy was much better than Belma was. <laughs> So basically, when he, honestly, I thought that oh no, no, I figured that Scrappy is gonna be worse than Belmo, but honestly, Scrappy is much better than Belmo is. You know, since his debut in the series, honestly, honestly, I have say they did a good job with with their version of Scrappy do. So basically, you know. Like I said, that Fred, Daphne, and Belma, and the other characters throughout the series had good character, but good, you know, and good character growth as well in this series. So basically, the way how, well, like I said, that Bel, uh, Belma did have some character development and some and some character growth in the second season. But I'm just saying that, you know, throughout this all, throughout this all, I would say, I would say, they did, you know, the, the show owners did a good job of trying to get Belma some character development in the second season, you know. Besides that, you know, let's just say, this is say the second season. It's a bit more. Uh, it's a bit more. Uh, a bit more uh, improvement than the first season was. So basically, the one thing that I was really hoping for in this in the second season is Shaggy and Gigi get back together. I really like Shaggy and Gigi getting. Get I was really hoping that at least they would. At least they would. You know. At least that. At least they would. You know. But you know, at least that Jack and Gigi will get back back together in the second season. But it can happen. So basically, I gotta say, I gotta say the second season. You know, even though even though Belma was outshined it, you know, was outshined by the other characters, and the other characters had more character, the better in this season than Belma did. You know, the, you know this. This season was was a bit better than than the first season. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. It's fight, you know. But I just wish that you know that 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 the series did not evolve any of the Hector characters, you know. Besides that, you know, this all I got to say is at least this season, at least this second season of Velma is better than that good time animated Netflix cartoon it was. That's all I got to say. It's better. It's better than that good time animated series. <laughs> animated series cartoon on Netflix was. That's all I got to say. So anyway, I pretty much... Pretty much want to get your opinions of what you guys think about Velma season two. Good, bad, or just now, or just hell no. Please let me know what comes below. Anyway, signing off from Screen Views. One.